Hi, this is Wayne Chapin, and this is a Zerillion field report video. And I'm going to be talking about is Microsoft killing off Skype for Teams in Office 365? And what does that mean for those people considering using the Microsoft phone system? What is the current Skype for Teams user experience with the Microsoft phone system? So businesses are very interested in the Microsoft phone system inside of Microsoft or Office 365. But they have a question, and they're wondering, is Microsoft's killing off Skype? And if we do a Microsoft phone system project with Skype now, will we have to do this project again in Teams when Microsoft's going to force us to use Teams instead of Skype? The first thing I'm going to tell you and reassure you about is your investment is safe using the Skype app with the Microsoft phone system. And here's Zerillion's Teams journey to date. We integrated Teams chat channels in March of 2018. And Teams chat channels are far superior to Outlook email for business organization, collaboration, and productivity. But that's a whole other separate video, and I have it here, and I'm gonna show you where it is at the end of this video. And then, as of October 2018, we were still using Skype for phones and conferencing. Well, then in September of 2018, Microsoft announced that any new Office 365 accounts or tenants under 500 users will not get Skype, they will only get Teams. So we figured, well, all right, then we've got to go ahead and fully switch over to Teams for the audio video conferencing and the phone system. So then in November 2018, we fully migrated our audio video conferencing and phone system into Teams. And here are the results. For the audio video conferencing, the Teams video and screen sharing layout is better and cleaner than Skype. The camera video and screen sharing is super sharp and the controls are more intuitive. So now I'll talk about our results with the phone system. So we are completely switched over to using Microsoft Teams with the Microsoft phone system. But our team's opinion in late December 2018 is that Skype still provides the best phone system experience. For audio video conferencing, hands down, Teams is outstanding. For the phone system experience though, we're still gonna implement with Skype. Microsoft is getting there with phones inside of Teams. It's a different technology, and it's important to understand the communication protocols in Teams are different than they are in Skype for Business. The communication protocols in Teams are actually more modern, more secure, they're, they're better, it's higher quality. But the thing is right now, Skype for Business is more established, it's more mature. But Microsoft is getting there with Microsoft Teams. All new features are going into Microsoft Teams. We're estimating in December 2019 that the Teams phone experience will surpass the Skype phone experience for our users. And then when that happens, we will put new projects in using Microsoft Teams, and then we will notify clients and they can decide if it makes sense for them to switch. For current phone system projects, we will set up Skype and Teams on each computer at a client. We will train your team on both using Skype and Teams, but we will put the phone system behind Skype. And then we recommend the client departments start using Teams chat channels, video conferencing, and screen sharing. And then for clients that are interested to move from Skype to Teams with the phone system, the good news is it's a small job. We do a little training to orient the users. We show them how to connect their headsets, which is easy to do. And there's a little bit of configuration we do for each user account inside the Microsoft Office 365 tenant so that their phone system rings the Teams app instead of the Skype for Business app. There's no big cutover to do. There's no big porting project. We don't even touch the configuration of the Microsoft phone system. We literally just tell each user account in Office 365 that they now are going to be using Teams instead of the Skype app for the phone system. And it's something we can do over lunch break. Microsoft is supporting Skype until customers are ready to move to Teams. Microsoft has millions of customers on Skype. Teams is the future, and you should use 2019 to learn how to use a chat channel workspace. So for now, go ahead, get comfortable with the Microsoft phone system, use Skype, you'll have a great experience with it, and then start getting familiar with Teams. Do some training. It doesn't take much. A half hour, an hour of training per user on Teams will send your company in a whole different trajectory as far as workplace productivity. But you need to get comfortable with the concept of using a chat channel based workspace and getting out of those mailboxes. So if you want to talk right below me is some contact information. You can just email support at zerillion.com and you can talk with our sales team and get set up with a call there. Or you can call us at 847-995-9800 and start the discussion. And if you want to dig in a little bit deeper with Teams or the Microsoft phone system, there should be two card tiles on the right of the screen here where you can click on one of those videos and watch it a little bit further. So I hope you found this field report and guidance video useful in your journey into the Microsoft phone system and Microsoft Teams. And a few last pointers, the Microsoft phone system is outstanding. But all that being said, you should begin your journey into Microsoft Teams. See you in the next video.